Hello and welcome to No Umbrellas Allowed. This is a um a dystopian future pawn shop game. When I say pawn shop, I don't mean pawn as in like Jabba the Hutt pawn. I mean more like well that says a lot about my private life. Um I I mean more like um it's 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 you you'll bring someone a Pokemon card and I'll probably misjudge the value of it and then sell it for 5 quid and realize I'm an idiot. Yeah. So I'm going to click a new game. I've actually it's sort of a blind stamp it. I know what the game is. I know how it plays. I absolutely adore how it plays, but it's going to be a blind stamp it. We're going in from new game into it because it is something that I actually just want to experience with you lot. If it becomes something I actually really enjoy, maybe I'll even make a little let's play out of it. I don't know. We'll see. New game. 2080 Ajax City. Oh my. Last night there was a massive explosion at the City Alliance Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer manufacturing facilities are all gone. The government and the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the Fixer Rain project. For now, Ajax City is the last city waiting for the Fixer Rain is to stay dry for a few more weeks. Basically, Ajax City doesn't have the Fixer Rain and is going to stay dry for a few weeks. Not sure what the Fixer Rain is, but I'm sure they'll tell us. Okay, and there's an old man kicking someone in the head. Hey, are you dead? Please help me. Shush, an AVAC guy is coming. This is Dalpang Joe from AVAC. I've just heard some... Ah, look at the night sky. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? Very confused. What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Is he from the Institute? No, this is my son. He's got weak legs since he was a child. It's typical. Don't worry. Do you need any help? No, everything's fine. Hmm. I'd be suspicious too. It's very odd. Lucky me. You fit the profile. Hey, you're here. The doctor said your face got most of the injuries, so he covered your whole face with some bandages. Oh, well, that's interesting. You can take them off after a week, but he's not sure your face will be the same as it was before. Okay. I'm Darcy, just an old-timer who owns a second-hand shop nearby. And from this moment, you'll be my son, Bob. I know you're not just an ordinary fugitive, and AVAC will keep track of you as soon as you showed up right after the accident. Okay, so this person so this person in the bed's a fugitive. Uh, so after you get back on your feet, you should manage my store pretending you're my son. The store is on the B1 level of the Badapolis in Sing Sing side, just across the bridge. I didn't understand a lot of that. And you, day one. So I presume we play as bandage face fugitive guy. Got up. Right, use A and D to walk. I get the strong feeling, and I'm just saying this now, that this game does not like being in 4K. No, we're stuck with this. Um, Tyron might zoom into this slightly. We'll see how it runs. Um, but yes. Let's go for a jog to the left. Aga City. This is the wrong way. Ah, I can't go that way. Good. And then I've got this way. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a fee to pass through here. What are you staring at? Yeah, I get the feeling this game's in the wrong resolution. Right, there we go. I had a small problem with, um... 
user interface. I fixed it. I had to run the game at 1080p to actually get it to work. So it's smaller on my screen, but it's fine. You'll just see a massive mouse cursor instead. Uh, so here we are. Yeah, the user interface um, doesn't work on 4K. That's fine. Uh, let's enter this little call box. Call the elevator. Oh, it is, it is there. Uh, it was the bottom. B1, I said. So down. How do I... Oh, I could only press top. I guess we go up. Darcy's son is back in town. Ah, we're Darcy's son. Interesting. Hello, cat. Aw. So, yeah, this is a dystopian future, as you can see already. The fact that I'm wandering around like a mental patient with my bandages on my face seems to bother no one. Smirik lofts. Move to Mindeleso. By the way, aren't you looking for a job? Hello. What for? We'll soon all get fixed anyway. What's getting fixed? Interesting. What if AVAC is lying? Yeah. What if they pour out Fix Rain tomorrow right away? What is Fix Rain? Ooh. Interact. Ajax City for runaways. Okay. Well, let's go this way. I wish Junoxide could be developed even with half of Sinks inside. Oh. Don't rush, it's dangerous. Oh yeah, you're like the AVAT people. I see that. Uniform. What's your purpose in Sing Sing today? To buy some flowers and clothes to do hair too. Aww. I'm going to the second hand shop. Are you coming with me? Nah, I like to buy new ones. Oh, interesting. Sorry, uh, so we're taking it in. Basically, it's a dystopian mess. Here we are. We're at the place. Damn noisy. What's wrong with him? Can't believe Avac is still leaving him to do this. Avac must stop rebuilding the institute. Hi. Go away, greed to me. Oh, I interacted with the fountain. Avac must stop surveilling citizens. This is Avac. What's this office? The stabilizer of the Fair Trade Tread Commission? Your donation perfects fixer. Support the AVAC. Okay. Hey. Emotion mitigation treatment center. Right. I'm guessing emotions aren't nice in this world. Ah, this is Darcy's. Never seen that floaty around. Let's go to work, I guess? Here we are. Hi, I'm Hugh. People call me the Sphinx of Darcy's. And you are... You look much better now. Hi, you must be Darcy. Welcome to Darcy's The Second Hand Shop. I've been running this place for more than 30 years. That's good. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit the store from me. That is why I picked you up from the beach. Avex has been pestering me about his whereabouts, and I need a stand-in for Bob. After all that time, now they're looking for Bob. But Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? That is not going to happen. It's been almost a decade since he left. Right, that's depressing. By the way, the one here is you. Got a mouth on, but it'll be help anyway. Uh, let's start discussing what you're going to do here. Okay, at the city, uh, here, here you're going to both buy and sell. You must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the Citizen Discourse Data Radar. The CDD. I did it so that I didn't have to care about AVAC in here. Their side effects, just like Hugh said, customers all get cocky as soon as they get in here. Anyway, for today, I'll teach you how to negotiate the price when buying things, and that's where to start. Great! When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept that can still make you a profit when resold. So you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. This is why I like this. It's an appraisal game. When it comes to appraising things, I use cards. Customers introduce their items with cards. A grey card is base information and a base price. Green card means detailed information and a change in price. So a cup without anything. Or an AA logo leather. Ooh, original materials. Oh, I forgot the blue cards. 
Green cards include objective information. On the other hand, blue cards are close to opinions. They're just like how damaged or how popular or rare an item is. So it could be popular for all ages, which raises the price. Could be rare, which raises the price. Sharing blue cards are like sharing your opinion, at which customers may protest or get mad. To share a card with a customer, you insert it in the card slot. So you put it in this thing on the left. The combination of the cards yields the price. You can use it as a guideline while bargaining. Don't worry too much about colours. For now, focus on bargaining. The price is based on the cards. Here's a grey card for the bag. It says bag. Bags are usually sold for 100 Vanus. There we go. So 100. There we go. Let's say brand A is pretty high end, which means the price goes up by 200. Cow hype means adding an extra 50 to the price. And finally, the price went down by 20% as it is slightly damaged. Now you can start bargaining based on the price that these cards have. Can you see the 280 V below? That's the guideline. You can suggest 280 V from the start if you want to go easy, but if you want to make a profit, you'd be better to cut it at least one third. Yeah, okay. Decide how much to offer. Offer less than 70% of the guideline. Make an offer. Use the calculator to set its buying price. Press offer. Then say yes or no to the customer's offer, then press accept. So we bargain. This is your first offer, you can be a little bolder. Use the calculator on your down right to try 190 volts. Not gonna lie, that's what I was gonna put in anyway. 190. Offer. How about 190? Good! But mostly customers won't accept your first offer. Instead, they will make a counter offer like this. How about 240? Uh, how about 200? 200 is the best I can offer. Well, alright. I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I didn't mention what you owe me. While fixing you, it took 500 volts and I gave you 1000 volts of seed money. Yes, I'm calling them volts because it's easier than whatever they're called. So you owe me 1500 V. Pay me back the total amount once you make enough money. It'll take 15 V per day as interest, so it's not a good strategy to leave your debt unpaid. So we have to pay off the debt over time. Understandable. And it's not just the debt you should make money for. If you don't save money, you won't be treated as a human after you become a fixie. Strictly speaking, they are not human beings. Anyway, to be treated in a fair way after you get fixed, you have to join the fixie pension plan. To join it... Ah, I forgot again, the silly requirements. So just to be clear, it's not because it's old, it's because there were more than one. As far as I remember, you join it by paying 10,000 volts, or was it 30,000 volts? I'll let you know the details next time. Making some money is the first thing to do anyway. Don't do anything. Don't say anything you shouldn't with AVAC gets involved. Just try not to get involved with them. Good luck then. Have a great day, Darcy. There we are. So we've learnt the basics. We buy things, we sell stuff. I've got 1,000 volts to start with. There's some news. Blah, blah, blah. They broadcast in that manner every day. The Association of Avarice Crimes. Uh, we'll stay ever close to you till the fixer. Let's win victory for the war against greed together. So greed is bad, and they're against greed. We are for greed, by the looks of things. You're new here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello. Does Darcy have a problem managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. So how good are you? Do you know how to name prices? Hold on, hold on. This is Bob, and he's not just some part-time kid. He's Darcy Darcy's second son. You're Darcy's son? Then Nari is your daughter. No, you're talking about Baku? This here is Baku's younger brother, Bob. And Bob never gets intimidated by customers. Am I right, Bob? Yeah! His hands are shaking already. Whoops. Alright, anyway, take a look at this. My daughter gave this to my ex-husband who used to be a father. Used to be? Would you please figure it out by yourself? People expect too much from me. I'm divorced. Living with that man meant nothing. Okay. We always had to keep our heads down with Avax near. I heard he's doing some one-man protest these days. Oh! Bob, why don't you start by 35 volts? Mm. Young Ji Choi, the best father in the world. It's recyclable. Uh, I'm going to say 25. I'm not going to offer a 42. 
Yeah, alright. And hey, you should get your Hugh repaired or something. Yours is so rude. Hughes are supposed to talk. Ah, right, so this guy's a little shit. Now please leave now, dear nosy customer. Here's a tip for stock management. Managing the inventory. All items you purchase go directly to your inventory. Items are listed here. Click on each item to see its details. Okay. Um, where's my inventory? Here? Ah, here we go. Customers can't see what's inside here, so you have to place items on the showcase to sell them. Right, so you put things in the window so you can sell them. Try placing what you bought on the showcase so customers can see it. Uh, how do I do that? Clicking on the button on the top left. Ah, got it. Here we go. A trophy. It's appraised at 60. The special price is... I'm going to put it in for 100. Yeah, a trophy for 100. Look at that. Ooh. And it's recommended. So I could put it anywhere in the window, but I'm putting it in this recommended slot. Um, right. Let's leave. Good job. Are you having fun? She's so twisted. You can say that again. There's one more to tell you, Bob. Reputational cards, witness to Darcy. This card will give you more advantages if you keep recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. Ah, okay, so this is the recommended slot. We see this of Darcy's. It will be automatically created and generated a special price. When items put on the spot, it's an exceptional selling price. For recommended items. Right, so I should put the recommended price. So I've done that wrong already. And Darcy was going to explain more about them. Right, so I need to go back to the window very quickly. Change the price to 60. I won't get more, but it will help me improve how good I am at selling stuff with my recommendation. I see. Hi! Could you buy this off me? It's a water bowl for cats. It got scratched by taking this off my cat. It'll calm down if you pay me well. You kept it secret just to come here, right? You should buy this if you want to fill up your showcase. Probably. 29? Hmm. Okay, so you've already given me a thing. 29's a little high. How about... 21? 25? 20... No, 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 no. Hold on. 20, 20, 23. There we go, 23. Master Haggler Harry has done it again. Let's stick this in the showcase for just a random price, I don't care. The praised at 34, so I'm going to put it in at 40. It's a water bowl for cats. Hi! Is this... Yeah, this is the second hand shop. Sorry, I don't know anything about this town. Are you from another city? Have you escaped the fixer rain? No, I was studying abroad, just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here and not in your friend's house? There's an issue. I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. I have a look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid of AVAC. Where'd you get a moon rock like this? Have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, it almost pulled out my arms. Well, can I buy your arms? That was weird. Anyway, I'll be here this evening, so please wait for me and don't sell it. Okay. That's a lot of money. It's a stone from the moon. You're just browsing. Okay. Hello and welcome to Ajax. Ajax, we have two stories coming up. News time. Oh good, my TV at home is broken. First up, AVAC has launched the investigation into... Carrie. Uh, the investigation is focused on finding if the, the fire was an unfortunate accident or an act of arson. Ooh, it's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. It seems like everyone doesn't like this fix ring. Whoever is on the place on fire, I'm fully behind them. Next up, Professor Yong Ji Choi is staging a one-man process against AVAC. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what are and are not avarice crimes will cause a huge problem. He also claims that AVAC is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocence. Why can't he do something real like that arsonist? However, AVAC countered that if we set clear out laws, then many will find a way to circumvent them. The rules must be ambiguous and the penalties must be harsh to make citizens behave. What? 
The sound's not working. I told Darcy to at least somewhat get a decent TV. Oh. The Bunker of Freedom. Ah. It's gonna get loud. To let as many citizens as possible avoid fixed rain. The new entrance fee is 25,000 V. That's fantastic. You can hide for fixed rain with 25,000. Yeah, I've only got 900. Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. What's a pure floaty? That goes without saying. Ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. Until then, we'll be waiting. Hmm. The data record is blocked in here, right? Yes, it is. There's a once in a lifetime chance. I won't need to stick to the fixie pension anymore. I'm not going to miss this. Okay. Weird. He's all excited. Avex's going to catch up with him before that. Yeah. So people are trying to avoid this rain. And they want people to have money. It's a whole thing. It's very interesting. Can't you ask around for me, Bob? I want to go to the bunker with you too. I don't want to be left with the fixies. We'll see. Have we got a customer? Oh, no. Everything going all right? Of course, Darcy. I'm here. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's easy yet. Hang on. What is that rock in the storage? Guess what, Darcy? That's a moon rock. Then maybe you can make some money by selling it. Where'd you get it? Some lady just came by and asked us to keep it for a few hours. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she'll come back in a few hours. If she's that stupid, I mean, if she's in that situation for you to ask that, I'm pretty sure she's being chased by AVAC. She won't make it then. Why don't you give it to me? I was actually in need of the money. Come on. No! It's off. Looks like I brought a stubborn one. Fine, fine. That lady was nice. You can't hurt his feelings like that, Bob. It was a nice lady. Hi. It was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much it was worth? Corporate Republic of Bluebird special deal for early immigrants. Apply now and get a 30% higher salary. It's a poster. Silent method of bringing news, it's paper, and it's damage. 24 volts. Uh, I'm going to say 20. Oh, shit, anyway. I'm going to put this in the window very quickly. But 30. Good to see it was open. I was worried you might not open. Uh, can you take a look at this? It's a mug. I got it when the f f cafe first opened. Love mine Glesso. So it's clay. Fairly damaged. Mm. Eight volts? No, 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 no. Five. Settle at six? Settle at six is fine. There we go. I'd say my surface wasn't bad. Nice. There you go. I've got a mug for six volts. The trophy on the showcase. How much is it? It's only 60. Good. I expected as much. I'll take it. Bye. Look at that. We sold something off the showcase. Let's put the mug here. Special price of 11. Wow. No, I'm going to put the water bowl for cats in. There you go. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to make sure it fits. Hey, I'm back. Is my moon rock safe? Of course. Here you go. Thanks so much. I could tell by sight, but you're a really nice person. Ah. We should have a great evening. Oh, you too. Stranger. Hold on. Is this the right special price of 34? Hold on. 34. There we go. And of course, she didn't even mention anything about storage fee. Calm down. Money's not everything. Hi. Music changed with you. Avac didn't come here, did they? I'd like to sell this here. It's a leather wallet. I liked its colour, but now I don't. Faux leather. Thought quiet. Can you imagine how painful it is for this wallet? Hmm. You should buy this if you want to fill up your showcase. I do. 30's pretty high. What about... 20. I'll lowball you and we'll work upwards. 25? 
There we go. Worth 40. I got it for 24. Pretty solid. And I'm definitely going to pop that in the showcase middle window, I've decided. So that can be 40. And this thing can be up at 40 as well. There we go. Water bowl for cats. Hi! Nice hair! Uncle! My ass? This is Nari Jo. She's your fake niece. You mean he's my fake uncle? Why would Bob leave Bluthbird for a shithole like this in the first place? Hey you, you dream about inheriting the store, you better shut it off right now. Because there's no seat for a bogus son like you. And this place is supposed to be mine once Grandpa passes away. Okay. Now cut the crap and buy this cup. Why do you keep bringing garbages like this? Do I have to explain? Why don't you sell your paintings? You have tons of them. Stop that joke. Do you think I'd sell all my works to a place like this? Please think before you open your mouth. Oh, Just quit whining and take this cup for 90. You know that's a special deal. That is not a special deal. But I will take it for 90 because I like your hair. I have been seduced by superior hairstyles. Okay, so she's threatening me, blah, blah, blah. And called me a, a, a deadbeat. Well, it's fine. I'm going to put this cup in the window. It's appraised at 23. I bought it at 90. Give me 30. And then I'm only losing a little bit for it. Yes, she's bringing in crap, but hey, it's an avarice crime for her. The Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes is still looking for four missing persons after the fire broke the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. All missing men are in their 30s, accounting staff working as researchers, and the experimental Yong Do. Oh, okay, so a bunch of people are missing. You don't need to avoid my eyes. I don't care if you're one of the four missing. Just don't cause any harm to my Darcy. Alright, chill. Alright, the mug found at home on Showcase. How much is it? It's 30! It doesn't seem to be worth that much. I'll buy it right away if it's at 19. How about 23? That's the bang on price. Nah, I'll take it at 19. Fuck it. We're both happy, right? Yeah, it was shit. I don't care. He got money. I lost a bit. But it was to appease that niece person. How was your first day? Come on, Darcy. I was with him the whole day. Yeah, and he's still here with us. By the way, there's a thing you have to do. Next Monday, AVAP will come by to check your identification. So you have to make a fake ID by this Friday. Lives in the same building as you, right above your room. Visit him after work since he sleeps during the daytime and works at night. He'll ask for 800 volts for making a fake certificate. You can afford it. Okay. By the end of the week, I need to get a fake ID. And what about this gentleman here? He's the owner. Isn't this the theme? What theme? To wrap up the employee's face to make him look like a mummy? Or was he just caught in a terrible turmoil? Just kidding. I have a good evening then. That guy was weird. Anyway, let's just make sure to get yourself a fake ID by this Friday. Right on the calendar too, the small one behind me. Ah, fake ID. We get interest every day, but the fake ID's there. Sunny afternoon. No umbrellas allowed. Thank you. I don't really want to take me with me, but this is my home. If you get to miss me, deadly dream of me tonight, toodaloo. Right, so we go home now. I'm not going to buy the fake ID now because I need this startup cash. I'd be a fool to buy it. My hair's a third eye for the future. One of the future asks my hair. You know what the getting that guy next door is like? Interesting. People are suspicious about me. Let's finish my day. There we go. So I disposed of something. Um, and I sold some stuff. My worst deal of the day was the mug. I lost 78% on that, but I gained 42 on the trophy. Woman asked me to keep a moon rock with 20,000. I can blah, blah, blah. It gives you like a little description. We'll move on and sleep to the next day. It's a lovely little fun game, basically, where you 
buy things and move on. I might do some streams on this after this video comes out, because it is a hell of a lot of fun. Ooh, nice t-shirt. Welcome, this is nice tea. Oh god, mister, if you walk around in that outfit, don't you have a mirror at your place? Don't worry. Let me show you what perfect outfit. Are you ready? Please enter the fitting room on your right. In memory of Boy Scouts. Yeah, in memory of Boy Scouts does not seem like a good idea. Hair? Roof? Yeah, getting some stuff to maybe fix what I'm wearing might be a good idea, but I don't have any money right now. So let's go get some money! Hurry! And we go to work. Morning! I made a song, it's called New Bop Bebop. Barry, beep beep, new bop bebop. It's the new, okay, never mind. Blah blah blah, it's the news, they cut you off. They've restrained a grief free day. Okay, who we got? Darcy, since you haven't run away yet, now it's time to teach you how to check materials and damage levels. Let's look at that bag from yesterday. I said that this bag is in perfect condition, but before moving on to the next step, you should check before yourself using tools. So we have tools to basically check how things are. Click the damage assessor. So this is the damage assessor, and this says it's in pretty good condition. Measures damage level. That magnifies textures. It's not really perfect, right? No, it's not. Let's move on to the material. Click material magnifier and move it onto the bag. Yeah. It's, um, something brown. I do see this material up close, but you can't tell exactly what it is for now. That's when you need this manual. Ah, a manual. Index lets you move, text lets you pull cards from. Great! Get the materials list and find out which material looks closer to what you saw on the magnifier. Okay. So materials. Here we go. So I'm seeing... This. Cowhide. Skin of poor sacrificed cows. It's cowhide. That's it. Did you see the card and the price changing? Now let's head to the condition page from the manual list. Use the damage assessor again. Condition. So it is slightly damaged. I see. The cards in the slot take to customers, put things on showcase, to so let customers know what the items worth. So customers can see all these cards. The cards have to be accurate and concrete to earn the trust of a customer. And with the trust, you'll be able to sell for more. So keep in mind you use the tools in the manual. And there's one more. Once a customer accepts a card, you can't undo it, which means you cannot remove or replace cards once the deal is closed. So don't lose focus during a proposal. It's only chance you can do to decide which card. Right, so I could lie about things if I wanted to sell it for more, but it probably isn't a good idea because that's probably an avarice crime. Gotcha, I praise stuff. The wittiness of Darcy's card, right? The two cards you told you about are here, reputational cards. Here we go, recommended by Darcy's. Sells quickly, appraised by Darcy's. Likeability of Darcy's. Three cards that stores reputation. Three special because they improve themselves along with you. The better you get, the more effective each card will be by driving the mark bargain to your advantage or encouraging customers to buy. Each card shows detailed effects. You can check and see the effects and progressions of each card here. Press the medal to open this board. Nothing to lose yet. So that's the recommending skill. Uh, I don't think I have likeability yet. Or appraise. Oh, appraising skill. Let's see. You can get effects soon. That's cool. I'll focus on recommending and appraising. Please forgive my granddaughter Nari. She may look a bit selfish. She's a poor little kid. Both her father and uncle left town when she was young. Moreover, her father is now a fixie. You can't imagine what she's going through. Always blame the parents. Anyway, I should leave now. Wish you good luck. See ya. Cool. We can finally do some more appraisals. That's what I'm here for. How much is the water bowl for cats? It's only 40. Okay, I know you're not the kind to overprice their stuff. Immediate sale. Nice. Went well. Got anything else to put in the window? Uh, I got a couple of sold items I can move. Everything else is in the window. Cool. Hi. Hi, how's your day? Okay. I'd like to show you something. A backpack. Bought it a month ago. They said it's not refundable. 
Please hurry, I don't have much time. Will you toss me 20? I'm running out of time. Very quickly. It is... Fairly damaged. Yeah, you know, the material is... Diagonal lines, it's that. It's PvP, it's PVC. Fine, but let's not waste time anymore. I'm in a hurry. Cool, so I've done all that. It says 28. I'm going to give you 18 for it. You need more? 20. Final offer. No. I'm not going to buy it then if you're going to be a bitch. Sorry, but it's very simple. Just what I always expected. This place always looks like the Junk of Sunkung. Right, you've got a newspaper. Interesting. Hard copy news. Let's see. It's slightly damaged. So the price goes up a bit, which is nice. Uh, the material is paper by the looks of things. Oh. That's this. Paper. Definitely made a paper. Who says I didn't know about that? Yeah, well, I like to verify things. Cool. Uh, I don't have access to any of these other things like brands, gems, history, time, chronological. You get tons of them as you move on. Uh, so you've got it for 27. I'm going to take 18. And I offer you more. 20. That's, that's final offer. I need to make a profit, dude. Nice, there we go. Head to the window, pop this in the window, and I praised 27, so I'm going to put it in for 40. I've got to sell them for more than they are. Praised at 11, bought at 6. Seeing as the mug's here, let's put the mug in for 20. We can haggle with people at the least if we overprice things. Hi, just an ordinary bracelet. I doubt that very much. Let's get the quality. It is fairly damaged. Bye. No. It's, 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 it's fairly damaged. It is what it is. I don't compromise on condition. It's shit, dude. This is a metal. Hmm. Okay. It's this metal, though. It is silver. Cool. So, I'm going to give you 48. So, I'm going to say 28. That's half-ish. 28? Seriously, but you can make a higher offer than that. 32. There we go. 32 is fine. I lowball and I go up slightly, that's fine. This bracelet, pretty decent actually, appraised at 48. Um, I'm going to put it in at 60 over here. Hi. Annoying bluebird poster, how much is it? It's 30. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. Right, right away if it's 23. Mm, no. 27. No. I'm not selling it to you for less. It was a bad offer. It was less than it's worth. Hey! Knock it off or I'll throw you away, stupid junk junk. A painting. Never seen such an amazing painting, have you? That's pretty cool. It's a unicorn elf, man. I can take it for free. At least you got an eye for painting. Ah. Show me a silver bracelet without any decoration. She's asking for a recommendation. Find an item that meets her requirement in the inventory. Take it out of the inventory and put it on the table. Ah. Silver bracelet. Here you go. 
I like it. How much is it? It's crazed at 48. Let's go. Let's go 60 and see what happens. That's good. Nice. Made a profit. I need to put this painting in the window. Or not. I'd like to buy the Mind Lesso mug. Uh, it's only 20. What? This is crazy. You place 20 for this. I'll buy it right away if it's 10. Hmm. I'm still losing money on it. No. I will refuse to sell things to idiots. Right, open this window. Get rid of this. The leather wallet is on my recommendation. This painting is very cool. Should I sell the painting? I feel bad. Fuck it. I put the unique painting there. We'll see what happens. Oh. Do you have any paintings too? Here, take this. I'll give it you for 450. Hmm. This is not really good. Let me show you my painting tomorrow. You may even cry seeing it. Fine, then come back with your painting tomorrow. Alright, Bob Ross. See you then. It's good to see you keeping the stories. It used to be it's still so rugged. A memorial towel. Hello. Right, let's do a quick check on the quality. It is slightly damaged, not fairly damaged. So you're going to get more money for it. There you go. Means, means I can sell it for more. Yeah, I know. There we go. And the quality of the material. It's this material. Cotton. It is cotton. I just like to verify things. Cool. We're all done. It's time to appraise this. You're selling for 119. I'm going to say... 95. Slightly more. All right. 100. Bosh. 100. Mitigation treatment. Nice. I don't know what that is, but you, you pay for that, girl. So, how much is the leather wallet? It's only 40. That's bang on what he's appraised. Sounds reasonable. I'll take it. Yeah. I forgot to change the price to what scale a bit. Hey! Hold on. Expert nurse. Visitors think Darcy's appraised once. Oh, 1%. Hooray. Hold on. Found this at home. How much can I get for it? It's a fish. It's a pencil case that looks like a fish. Okay. It's it's slightly damaged, so I'll give you that. You can get a bit more money for it. That'll make you nice and happy. It's made out of this. Velvet. You're not an expert, no. Yeah, it's definitely velvet, isn't it? Yeah, nothing else has that texture. Okay. So that's gone up to 73. Why don't I give you 55 as my low ball? Oh, he's happy because of that and let me have it for 55. What a nice boy. Put the fish in the window. It's appraised at... I can't even see what it's appraised at. It's appraised at 74, so I'm going to put it in for 90. There we go. I'd like to buy the annoying bluebird poster. How much is it? Let's see if we can sell this now. Praised at 24. All right. I know you're not a cheater. He bought it at 30. There we go. My reputation's coming in. I'd like to buy the pencil case breathing like a fish. How much is it? It's only 90. Well, all right. I know you're not a cheater. Look at my positive reputation. Let me uh, get rid of some of these actually very quickly. Bop, bop, bop. Spread this out. Nice. Look straight, unicorn. Blah, blah, blah. The day's at an end. Performed you yesterday. It will rain this evening. We also like to inform you that the rain today is not fixed rain, but just rain. As you know, no umbrellas around. Thank you for your cooperation. You might get soaked from the bone, but be careful, Bob. Okay. Is it fixer rain? No, 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 relax. This is just ordinary rain. Everyone's worried about the rain. 
I can scavenge in bins? 20 volts. Hold on. I can scavenge in bins. I'm going to do that. What did I get? SAS badge. Not a knockoff. Appraised at 648? I need to go and check the bins. They're a fucking gold mine. Cash. 200. If I actually have enough money by the end of this, I'm going to be happy. Can I go down anymore? I don't think I can actually go down anymore. Yeah, no, they all move up now. Okay. Well, I've gotten 1,200. If I take 800 off that, leaves me with 400 to buy things throughout the day. And I've got this extra item. I think it's time to buy my fake ID. Ah, Darcy sent you. Money first, 800. Here you go. 425. Monday morning, check your inventory then. It'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now go away. Call me by his name. Achievement unlocked. Bought the fake ID. Got 425 volts left. Nice. Hear that sound? I'll show you how supportive we are. And then they ask them to rain everywhere except for us. Yeah. It's unique. Can I go this way? No. Alright. Let's finish our day. Sold a bunch of stuff. Worst deal of the day was 50%. Best deal of the day, 80%. Good morning. I have a restraint and greed for you. Yeah. That's your favorite man's going to show up with a statue sometime today. And he's going to insist about checking the material. Please tell him it's 24 karat gold. My life depends on it. Please help me out. Hmm. Hi. I brought my painting. Um... <coughs> yeah. Right. So this guy's giving me a painting that's absolutely shit. And he's... Yeah, okay. I like to buy the outdated newspaper. How much is it? Uh, it's only 40. Something must be wrong. Who pays 40 for this? In my opinion, 32? I'll take it. 32 is great. Bosh. We're both happy. Yes, we are. It's appraised at 35. I'm going to sell it at 35. Honestly, that is appalling, this Kraken painting. Appraised at 648. Bam. In the window for 648. Offer. Bam. There's a reason I picked that. I think that's going to be great. What's up? Hey, let me see what this is made of. Ah. Uh, 3D artwork. Uh, it's in perfect condition. Just check the material. Chillax, dude. Um. It's, it's gold. It is 24 karat gold. I check, I check the material. It's not even silver. That's 100% gold. Look at that. Not the color, but it's the exact same shading pattern. It's gold. It is 24 karat gold. It can't be wrong. It is 24 karat gold. I checked the- I checked it! I'd like to buy the picked up badge over there. How much is it? It's only 648. That's good. I'll take it. Bam! The money rolls in. Can I pay off my debt yet? No. It's 1,500. We're close. One friend of mine gave this to me. I don't know much about it, but I hope you will. 
The Huchu Game Studios neon sign. Hello, let's see the quality of this first. It is in perfect condition. Nice. Bit more money for you and me. Very good. Let's have a look at the quality. What is it made of? It's made of this material. Glass. Okay. Not new, but it's good to know how meticulous you are. Indeed, I am very meticulous. Okay, I will give you an offer of... 85, because it's 100. Alright, thanks for finding me every detail. Nice! We'll sell this sign immediately. Straight into the window. Bam, picked a badge. The unicorn can go in there. Sign, it's appraised at 101. I bought it at 85, so I'm going to sell it for 120. Just a little bit extra. How come there are two paintings in the shop? Who gave you that silly octopus painting? An idiot. Did Nari leave you her painting? Thanks for not turning it down. It was never our decision, Darcy. Just like a father dreaming of becoming an artist even in a situation like this. Without Avec, both Nari and her father would have been following their dream by now. I can do anything, enter the bunker, so she won't get fixed as her father did. Nari's dad took off for Haga City a few years ago, saying he'd become a great painter, and Haga City is where the artists used to live in groups. But you know, Fixer Ain came down on the country and ruined it all. Nari's trying to hide it, but she's going through a lot. Ah, you see. Anyway, I'll take the painting. Will 500 do? Uh, no? You don't want the octopus painting. Alright, bye Darcy. Well, we're getting there. The mug? It's only 20. Give me more than 11 and I'll buy. 11's right, I'll take it. Just get rid of the mug. This mug is shit. Both happy, right? Bye! Right, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. Neon sign can go in here. 101 is the special price. What I'd like to put in there. Towel on this side. A hilarious kraken. It's unique. Breaking news. More than 60 citizens are complaining of cold symptoms after yesterday's rain. I'm not supposed to use an umbrella, but I'm fully exposed to the rain. That's why I caught cold. He also asked the Association of Avarice Crimes if they would let an elderly in the week use umbrellas. They've not responded yet. Hmm. I think they should. Can you take a good look at this? Holy shit! I don't really want to let it go, but my mom has been pushing me to take it away. Can't take this item at the minute. Why not? Bob's not ready for this. I am! It's slightly damaged. I was ready for it! Why?! Memorial towel on the showcase. How much is it? It's only 150. There's no way you're cheating me. Sold it for a lot. Hey! Is my painting sold out? You've got a bigger problem. Your nemesis arrived. My nemesis? He shows your painting to a guy and said the painting is hideous. And he showed us his painting. The Kraken. What the? Are you kidding me? There's a shitty name on this. Is his name Boko Park? Yeah. Oh. I like her. Stop being mean, little robot friend. My ex gave me some time ago. I think you can only tell how much this is worth. It's a captivating cat collar. Made of cowhide and it's damaged. Alright, let's see. It's... I'm going to say it's in perfect condition. It is that close to perfect condition that it counts for me. Uh, let's see the material. It's this one. It is cowhide. Right. 96. I'm going to say 80. Nice! Probably could have lowballed that a bit more, but hey, on the bright side, now I can put it in the window. 
for about 110. Nice. Who's next? Hey, here's something urgent. Seems like Stabilizer's gonna be here soon. He thinks actual Bob came back from Bluebird, so he will get you to take emotion mitigation treatment. Basically suppresses your emotions. So it's expensive that you might feel, it's so expensive you might as well be a fixie, which is one of the reasons people desperately wait for fixer aim. Anyhow, taking that treatment won't be good for you. To tell the truth, it's pretty easy to avoid it. You have to tell yourself a fixie and suppress all your emotions. Simply put, act like a fixie as best you can. Okay. Do you even know what a fixie is? Sort of. What about fixer? His brain must have been so messed up. Fixer is a drug used to erase human emotions and desires. People who got it are called fixies. People who aren't are called floaties. Fixies are nothing but the dead who's still breathing. They're unresponsive to whatever happens around them. Even when their house gets robbed or AVAC takes away their family's right before their eyes, they just stand there. No anger, no sadness, no desire, nothing. Basically becoming a tranquil from Dragon Age. Blah, blah, blah. Avarice crimes are making everyone into it. They're dicks. That's how we became the last of the floaties in the whole country. Ooh. Pretend you're an emotionless zombie. Please don't say you don't know what a zombie is. Even if he offends you or acts nice to you, don't move a muscle. There'll be two choices left for floaties who can't hide their emotions in front of stabilizers. Either get emotion mitigation treatment or be labelled an avarice criminal. Right. Right, and once you're an avarice criminal, they'll fix you. So basically, no emotion. Got it. Okay. New things to buy, please? Hi! So you're the devoted son who came back from giving his life in Bluebird. I'd like to sell this here. It's soft and good to sleep on. Showcase is nearly empty. It's just a blip, right? Um... This is slightly damaged. Yep. The material is velvet. Oh! There you go. I will give you... 7... 80. 80. You know what? It's been easier than I expected. What else is there to say? Deal. Nice! Good on you. A little Hugh plushie. Cute. Open this up. Put it in the window. Praised at 94. I'm going to sell for 100. No, 110. Better sell it for too much than too little. Hey, it's you, the moon rock lady. After I saw you last time, I couldn't stop thinking about Jisoo, so I stopped by. My friend Jisoo was such a good person, and really smart too. He even got a job in the, uh, the Research Institute. But I heard he had a hard time there, while doing all sorts of experiments on floaties and fixies. Must have been really painful for him to watch the experiments killing people and driving them crazy. Anyway, it was the Jisoo I was looking for, but after the fire at the Institute, he's gone missing. However, I'll do anything to find him, I'm sure he's still alive. Anyway, it was great to see you again. Take care. Am I? Am I your friend? Maybe. How much is the Hugh doll? 110. You don't see a reason. You'll buy it right away at 84. Mm -hmm. No. 84 is a loss. I'm not doing that. It was a bad offer. Are you Darcy's son who came back in town? Bob, this is the stabilizer as you... Ah, stabilizer, got you. Be a robot! picks on floaties. He's been in Bluebird for decades and the bill is on you. Shut up, it's time to see how good your master is at restraining his emotions. You better be completely honest. Question number one. 
I say I need a ton of money right now. What are you going to ask me? No. Wait, they won't do anything, so yes. Hmm. I hope I won't tell you. If I say I need a hundred, are you going to give me that? Yes. To stop this shit, I can get you straight to the event and give you a dose of fixer. Good. Is that an easy decision? Wacko. Are you upset now? No. Your voice is telling me different. Here, take this money and calm yourself down. Yes. Forget about your father and work for you? Mm. If I say yes and work with him, we've got a problem. Yes. No. Hmm. There were some points your emotion level exceeded the limit, but I'll cut you slack for now because I don't want to give up this fun too soon. How evil. But I will keep watching you. Remember, I'm already ready to put you in treatment process. Hey, I tried my best. I was very confused. You're not a good actor, by the way. Loosen up and act like a zombie. That dull face of yours is now what we really needed earlier. Okay, no need to be rude. Hi, captivating cat collar. It is 110. Is this in perfect condition? Whatever, I'll take it. Bye. One friend of mine gave this to me, so I don't know much about it, but I hope you do. A pure gold die. Oh. Okay, let's see the quality. It is in perfect condition. Look at that. Bam. And you say it's 18 karat gold. I'm going to say it's 24. No way is it that. It's 24. Yeah, that's 24. Okay, nice. Let's give you a price of 500. Let's see what you say for that. I got 100 profit off that, nice and easy. 620. Goes in the window. Nice. What's so, up? I'd like to buy the Hugh doll over there. How much is it? 110. Okay, there's no way you're cheating me. Sold. Look at that. My appraisal skills are coming up. Hmm, we're getting there. I heard you were back, Bob. Oh, it's me, Hanja. Remember me? I was running into you on the streets, but I didn't recognize you with the bandage. I never thought you'd come back. Fix Rain is going to start in the city soon, too. Actually, let's save the gloomy talk for later. It's been so long. I have something to return, too. I borrowed this Darcy's year estimator last time. Took you long enough. Tell Darcy I'm sorry for taking so long. If you have anything that doesn't sell in over a week, feel free to give it to me. I still run my junkyard downstairs. Ah, I see. I can give you junk. Anyway... You're a member of the Badapolis Merchant Union. For a day, we've got to make one voice. Okay. Anyway, that's all for a day. And you can come by my junk shop. I mean, anything that's not sold for more five days. Okay. Not at high prices, but I buy without arguing. Fair enough. All right. So he just buys shit that hasn't sold. That's fair. Stay away from Hanja. Yeah, he seems a bit odd. He's going to bother you every chance he gets. It seems like that. Don't worry. Citizens, blah, blah, blah. End of the day. Hooray. Thank you. Bye. Heading home. Check the bins.
Nothing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Check the bins every day. It's worth it. 20 volts. Nice. Nothing. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm getting close to when I need to pay off Darcy's debt. I think. Well, I've got the fake ID. I need to pay off Darcy's debt. I'm miles off getting there, though. Need to sell some big ticket items for that. Gotcha! Lucky me. What did I get? I got a pencil case that is damaged. Not a knockoff. It's something. A decent pencil case. Pretty goopy, but it's something. Nothing. Okay, cool. Well, did what I could. Let's leave. Blah, blah, blah. That guy wants avarice crime to end. We've been here. Can't loot that one. Fine. Let's leave. Going home. Right about what you've been told about my future. This is the person with the fortune-telling hair. I wish the bunker would wait for, for us. Interesting. Hey, you. Did you find your son? Wonsu. Got cool hair. I'll give you that. Go down to the bottom and just go to sleep. Nothing on the middle floor I need to bother about. Should be good. All right, let's take another day's rest. Oh, no. She was right in front of my house painting. Oh, I had an opportunity to talk to her. I'm a fool. There's no way I can leave, no. Oh, uh, I'm upset. She was right outside my house painting. Oh, the cool girl with the nice hair. She was right here. Oh, willies. Hey, you're going to join the Fixie Pension Plan? I can't make you a human being. Great, bye. Going upstairs now. You have fun. Hey! There she is. Want to control your temperature? Go get fixed. Who are you to say so, huh? Oh. Hey, she's getting into arguments with people. That might not be a good idea. Want to make sure she's okay, though. I like her. She's fun. Collect umbrellas. Hmm. Might be worthwhile for me to do that. Have a check through here. I like to have a run through here early in the morning just to see what's here. Are you going to pay the fine? What do, do you know where I live? I live in that building. That doesn't mean you can't get arrested. Pay the fine, you'll get arrested. Arrest my ass. That person's getting arrested. How are you doing, boss? Just scratching your ass, I see. Okay. Let's get into the shop and see what we can do. Citizens, good morning. Have a strained and grief free day. Hello. Did you get the year estimator back? I did! It's time to learn how to read a chronological table. Cool. There's a toy car. Click the year estimator, put it on toy. Okay. 2062. So it was in the recovery period. Start walking, look around. The year estimator is the second slot to the right. Click and put it on the toy. Good. The number is 262, you just saw it's the exact year the toy was created. Okay. List of historical events, and then if they've got... Historical or national value, I see. So, there's the chronological table. In the year 2062. Twenty sixty two doesn't exist. Oh, next page. The year isn't all that counts. Take a look. The toy isn't really related to the historical events that happened in twenty sixty two. I see. This was also produced in twenty sixty two. Take a look at the news article. Let's start together and run together, says the president. Ah, so it's got historical value. So, it's to do with the Fair Trade Commission. The 
page about history and time. Take out the national historic value. Yeah. There we go, it doubles the price, okay. I don't have any of those at the moment, but the made from the 21st century will come in. Archaeological value. In the war, in the flood, we'll go, 2,000 will go crazy, so it's good to use that card. Okay, time sensitive. Ah. By the way, the signature detector is still in repair, so I'll give it to you tomorrow. Right, so we get to learn about signatures tomorrow. What's time sensitive then? It's kept for more than two days, it'll also be unpopular. Oh. Okay. Thanks for taking your side yesterday. I asked you to lie and say it was 24 karat gold. Lie? Yeah. Thanks to you, I was able to get rid of a uh, creditor. That really was 24 karat gold. Really? Honestly, I thought it was fake. That's why I was asking for you to lie to me. Anyway, I want to thank you. Please take this. That is silver bracelet. Wow. Um, I guess I can't check. You can't check gifts. Well, fuck it. Let's put this in the window because I need to put things in the window. I also got this pencil case. Appraised at 94. Let's sell it at 110. Nice. Let's put this bracelet in the window. Appraised at 40. I'm going to put it in for 60. Done. Let's see how we do. How much is the pure gold die? It's 620. Well, I like the price, but let me think about it for a second. I'll buy it right away if it's 560. No. I decline that. Sorry. It was it was a bad offer, dude. Bad offer. I could get way more for that. It's a pure gold die. Painting of a Kraken. It's 35. Honestly, I'll give it to you for anything. I ended up with it. Sounds reasonable. I'll take it. It was awful. Take the painting and leave. Hey, take a look at this. What we got? A wanted poster. National historical value. Right, first things first. Quality. It is slightly damaged. Sorry. I'm not going to look the other way, it's not how I work. It is made of... Paper. Yeah, it's definitely made of paper. The year is 2036. Nothing happened in 2036. Um, arsonist of the fire. So let me just check. History and time. 2036. It's, 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 it's not really that useful. It doesn't, it doesn't have any value. At all. Potato chips, nothing to do with that. Next, first avarice crime, nothing to do with that. Second big hate on Bluebird, nothing to do with fire. No, it's shit. It's absolutely shit. It's shit. Sorry, it, there's nothing there historical at all, so 20. There weren't any significant events that happened in 2036? Did I get that wrong? Sorry. Fine, don't sell it. Bye. Yeah, it was worth shit. I'm not gonna fucking get conned. How much is the picked up pencil case? 110. Pretty chill. It's not a knockoff. I'll buy it for 103. Sold. I picked it out of the bin. It's just straight profit, that. I absolutely adore playing this game. Hey! What do you think? I think it's amazing. Aww. 
so you can show it to that shitty guy named Boko Park. Oh, hey, there's Boko. It's a good painting. It's like a fixie painting. Can I just call you Nary? Look, Nary, you can't make it yourself happy. Your paintings can't get happy either. you to be happy while you're a floaty. Oh, you taking it back? No, I want to sell it. Oh. Drama. Hey. What do you want? Poster from Avac. Okay. Let's see what you got here. Bam. Quality. It is slightly damaged. Done. I state the obvious, it's my job. That is this, which means it's paper. And the year is 2080. No historical value whatsoever, it's from today. So I'm gonna give you 20 for it. Thirty-four? Done. You stole a poster. It's hardly anything, dude. Get rid of this, this, and this. Put you here. Praised at 49, so I'll sell it for 60. There we go. Hi. Pure gold die. Here we go. 620. Sounds reasonable. You'll take it. And that is why you don't take low ball offers. Look at that. I even improved on everything. My recommending skill and my expertness. Love it. I have to tell you that this store has been appointed to collect umbrellas. I, From today, citizens will come here to sell their umbrellas. All you have to do is buy them and hand them over to the association. So don't even try to resell the umbrellas to citizens. If you do, you'll get arrested for avarice crime. There is no reward, by the way. 50v per umbrella. Okay. pick up umbrellas for the bureaucrats. <laughs> this has archaeological value. Windows 2000. It is archaeological, yeah. Yeah, it very much is if it is real. First of all, quality wise, it's slightly damaged. That's bang on. It's made of paper. And the year is 2000. before 2000 have archaeological value. Yeah, it's got archaeological value. In and after. Oh, it's in and after. Sorry, it's not before 2000. My bad. Uh, it's it's 20, dude. That's what you get. Things from 2000 don't count. Y2K. Now that might be better. Let's look at the quality. It's still slightly damaged. It's made of paper still, I believe. And the year of this is 1999. That has archaeological value. There we go. 146 is what it's appraised at. I'm going to give you 120 for it. And we'll see what we get. 
There you go. I got a Y2K poster. Nice. I'll take a Y2K poster. So 2000's not included as historical. Got it. What confused me? Neon sign. Uh, it's only 101. I was appraised 102. Oh, wow, that's cheap. Uh, no. It's actually lower than its appraisal price. Get over yourself. It was a bad offer. Right, sold out on the die. Y2K poster. Special price, 150. Go on. See, look, the special price is now above the appraised. We're working up slowly. Not zero. 150. There we go. There we go. What's up? Hi. I found this at home. How much can I get for it? It's a 10 year old newspaper. This is already 10 years ago. Boy kidnapped, found safe. But, like people said, you look very kind. Well, let's see what we can do. It is fairly damaged. Yep, we know that. I like to tell you exactly what's happened, even if you already know it. It's paper. And 2070. Nothing happened in 2070, I'm afraid. It was in the recovery period. Teenagers under... Blah, blah, blah. No. I can give you... 10. Twelve. Best you're gonna get. I'm being nice to you. Just because you said it was kind. It's appraised at 13. I'm gonna sell it at 15. This thing is genuinely crap. I'm not gonna get much. What is it? It's a potted plant. Okay. It's not damaged. It's in perfect condition. Nice. Um, let's have a look at this. It's made of... This. This bee material of clay. Yeah, I know. I'm meticulous, that's me. And 2080 is not historical even slightly by the looks of things. Yeah. That's all I can give you. I'm gonna say 60 and we'll probably call it there. Nice high price. Brilliant. Out you go. I'll sell it for 80 in the window. Uh, fuck it. Actually, I'm going to go for 90 if it's a price of 72. Yeah. The 20th century poster. It's only 150. Well, I like the price, but let me think. I'll buy it right away if it's 140. Fuck it. Go on. Yeah, go on. That's okay for me. It's only 10 less, it's still good enough. Plus it's gonna up that witness of dances. <laughs> Pay off my debt, done. I've now got 413, I haven't got a lot. Can I sell this? Fuck. Uh, good stories about the store. That's good. Let me just sell some stuff and move some stuff around. Put a plant there. Special price is 75. Put 75 on it then. Go on. Yeah. Um, very quickly. I don't have a lot of money, so hopefully this is worse off. It is not in perfect condition. It is slightly damaged. That's good. Cuts the price down enough that I can actually buy it. Things are strict, I know, but it's important that we get things right. What the fuck is that? You're saying it's plastic. Mm, ah, that's plastic. Okay. Yeah, it is plastic. What's the year? 74. The first tracker challenge. Okay. Tracker bracelets. From the year of this, but I don't think it has anything to do with this event. 
measures humans' emotion. It's a pocket mommy. I think that's nothing to do with that. Uh, yes, here's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna say 300 is my lowball. Works for you. Bang on. Nice. That's nice. Still got some money to spare. I can pop this right in the window here for 340 as my recommended price, which is exactly what I want. Nice. Need to start selling some stuff. Oh, hey. You pay back all the money you owe. Good job. Feel free to borrow from me again when you need the money. It's smart to borrow when you need to rather than let your ego drive you out of the business. Yeah, so I swear I could borrow back immediately, but I don't want to do that right now. Blah, blah, blah. Forecast tomorrow is sunny and rainy. As you know, no umbrellas around. Thank you. Tomorrow is finally Friday. Straight home. Cool. I'm going to go check all the bins. Nothing. Money. It's way quicker if I do it like this. I didn't even think about that. Shush, my recommend is amazing. See a smile on your face. Did something good happen? Sure, probably. 14 volts. Nice. Interesting. Oh, it's you, creepy dude. I don't know, Bob. Enjoy the evening. I will. Thank you. Nari's arguing with someone downstairs? Hey. I told you he's not my uncle. What do you want from me? It's your fault you failed to sell. I know he's your uncle. He's right there. Shut up. Leave me alone. Okay. She's not happy with me. Maybe she will one day. Fight. 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 Oh, it's like school again. Oh. Getting beaten up. Hating things. Getting beaten up. <laughs> Let's go upstairs quickly. Head to the left, see what we can do. Your hair is the third eye for the future. If you want to know your future, ask your hair. Go on, tell me. See, so your past as well, but your past is very blurred. In the past you were... Wait, before I tell you that, give me the sweet pocket money in your store, then I'll tell you about your past and future. I'm out. Weird. For telling my future, she wants my sweet pocket, mommy. How interesting. You doing okay, buddy? Let's hope so. Where is he gone again? I don't know what you're looking for. Let's go down to the middle floor. Just check the middle floor. Ah, avarice person. What if I become a fixie with him? Go down to the bottom. Lay alone, you wouldn't be a fan for a criminal. She's not painting here again. Well, that's a good thing. Let's go to bed. Gather dust for a day. So, does gathering dust make this harder to sell? Maybe it does. All my deals were positive. No interest. Good. We've got to collect umbrellas, though. That's important. Hmm. Right, have a quick look around. Nope, can't leave. Good. Let's see what we can do, then. What's this? That's getting a loan. I don't need a loan. Yet. I'll get a loan urgently if I have to buy something, and that's really all I'm going to get a loan for. Man next door. Why do you get arrested? He cheered out loud in the streets. Why do you do that? You just heard the fix rain got delayed. Oof. And you pay the fine. Pay the fine, you get arrested. Right, shit's going bad. That's fine. Let's go to Mindless, though. Let's go into the Chinook side. Hi. So is it true that you were holding a big bread? It's true, but... But what? Think of him. 
Okay, you don't like Fixer. Understandable. Put down. You're still working? This is funny. I like you. You've got cool hair. Let's go to work. This is the Association of Victims. Yes, hi. We received a report that a citizen who visited this place a week ago. The citizen claimed you kept ripping off and lying. So you either pay the fine to prove your non-possession spirit, or you get arrested on the spot. Wait, a week ago? But Bob has been... What's going on? Come say Bob's neck. We received a report that a citizen visited this week. A week ago? Yeah, I wasn't working here. Lighten up, Bob. There's nothing Darcy can't do. Weird. Have a greed free day. Okay. Did you fix it? Don't worry, I took care of it. Paying the fine and getting fixed, you might have noticed, but they're not trying to give you a choice. Exactly, most people can't afford to pay the fine because it's insanely high. Do your best not to get on their nerves. Anyway, I brought the signature detector. It took pretty long to fix it. Put it on the far right side of the toolbox. Nice! Click the signature detector and put it on this ball. It will detect and show you the autograph. Okay. Good. And then you've got a celebrity list and then the types and then you f match the signature. Okay. It's on the next page. Turn the pages and find the owner of the autograph you just saw. Right, so let's see. That one matches with this one. Perfect. Okay, so Singring Nor, a tennis player, during practice he threw into the sea 100 tennis balls, which are considered very common. So he's an uh, athlete. There we go. Read the description of his once again. There should be a card you can pull out. Description of him. Uh, very common. Ah. I see. An autograph detected by the tool doesn't exist on the list or looks different from the original. You can use the unidentified or fake autograph at the bottom of the page. Cool. Slight difference of a stroke can make an autograph unidentified or fake. You'll have to look at the curves and serious when it's cleverly forged. Another thing you need to point out, won't help when it comes to great figures in world's history. I couldn't add every famous person to the list, most of their own belongings have a certificate. When you want to use the great figure in the world, use your knowledge on world history, but don't get stressed out with it, I'm sure you won't need a thick history book. By the way, you can now unwrap the bandage around your face and don't be disappointed even if your face looks different. Did something happen to Nari? She looked a bit different, I felt she was more motivated. Got into an argument. Bye. Okay, so I can now check signatures. How much is this potted? It's 75. That's good, you'll take it. Bosh, bye. Look at my recommending skill going up. Look at my appraising skill going up. Nice, love it. Hey, you. Guessing Darcy is out with the fixies again. Found this at home, how much can I get for it? It's an umbrella crusher. This, this is from AVAC, I saw them throwing it away. Interesting. Okay. Quality wise, it is slightly below fairly damaged. It's almost at no value. Hmm. Let's look at the material first. The material is platinum. 79. It's part of the Fix Rain project. National historical value. Yeah, it does. No signature found, which is fine. The quality, though, is what I'm worried about. It's below the halfway mark, so I'm going to say it's of no value. Okay. So, all in all, we get 124. I'm going to give you 100. What?
The association of victims of avarice war crimes. Yeah, that's fine. No. Bye. Kind of confused about that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, put this up here. It's appraised at 123, so we'll put 123 on that. We'll just sell it base offer. I need to sell things a little quicker right now. I have no money. This has been signed by a famous person. Oh, it's a Tamagotchi. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. First things first. Quality, it is slightly damaged. You know that. Not nitpicky, it's important. It is made of plastic. Okay. The year is 72. Nothing happened in 72. So that holds no value. And it's signed... by this twat. Uh, a swimmer who missed a match because of his sleep. Avac accused him of sleeping too much, forcing him to spend a month in trust, and his sign goods will hurt our reputation. Yeah, and he is also a athlete. He's a swimmer. Ah, Bob isn't an athlete anymore. Was an athlete, I suppose. So he's a prisoner? Criminal. He's been incarcerated, he's not an athlete, he's a criminal. Yeah. So this is gonna sell for about seven. I'm gonna give you five, no, four. I'll give you four. No, three, fuck it, three. Five, that'll do. Fine. Probably would have killed me to buy it. Bye! Right, yeah. Signatures of unpopular people are bad. It's annoying to see the item go up and down, but we didn't buy it, which I think is the most important thing. Silver bracelet. Here you go, 60. Well, alright, I know you're not a cheater. Bosh! My reputation succeeds again! Let me ditch some stuff very quickly, put that there. Cool. Hello! Sweet pocket mommy, how much is it? It is 340. The price is fine, but come to think of it, I'm bad off now. My opinion is 330, all right? Go on. It's only 10 less. I'm not going to moan about that. We're both happy. Yeah, that's just that's acceptable margins for the haggle. I'll take it. Hey. It's good to see I'm keeping the store as rugged as possible. Umbrella. Right. Um... But an umbrella is something that's not supposed to be held. I'm, I need to ditch an umbrella. Okay, hold on. Okay, we know what it's made of. It's not got historical value because I'm not selling it. It's signed? By a potter. Mm. Okay, so a potter. Twenty fifty three, twenty seventy one. That's a fake signature, then. Must be. Uh, it's a fake autograph. Uh, 
Okay, fine. It's a potter then. What do you want? It's an artist. Yeah, but it doesn't mean shit because it doesn't have any fucking historical value because the Fix Rain project was after that and it wasn't in his heyday. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to offer you that much for it. 50. Tell me what made you say that? What do you mean? Can you tell me what made me say that? It's um It's it's contraband. How do I say it's contraband? Where in here does it say contraband? It's potential garbage? It's not the quality that makes it garbage, it's what it is. I'm fucking trying to figure out how to tell you it's contraband. It's not a celebrity thing. Okay, it's, it's, it's because of the thing. I can give you a best 100 for it. That's it. No. 50. Bye. I'm not paying 600 quid for a fucking umbrella. Where I'm gonna get 50 back. All right, maybe this umbrella's worth something. But actually, I don't want to look into the appraisals. I just want to lowball you down to like, let's start with 40 and see where we go. Fine, I'm generous, here's 50. Sixty. I'm making a loss now. I can only sell them to bureaucrats for 50. Oh, fucking candle. All right, let's see. It has a thing. It's melted. It's a candle. It's made of wax. It's damaged. It's got a businessman's signature. It's popular. Let's see what we got first. Quality wise, it is slightly damaged. The material is wax. Yeah. The year is 2076. The rainy period. How is it slightly different? Oh yeah, it is slightly different, I see. It's a fake signature. Fake autograph. You wanna sell it, fine. Let me see what else I got. Slightly damaged. Good. Material is wax. Seventy-six. It's it's from this era, but it doesn't seem to do anything. It's not got anything to do with the major events. So I'm gonna give you fifty. That's a good price. Go with fifty. That's a fair price. We'll see what we can do. Poster from the AVAC. How much is it? Uh, it's only 60. There you go. Nice done. Not overpriced. 
Gaining a little more reputation. Reputation's very important because it means I can sell stuff for a higher price the more my reputation's weird. Special price of 70. Go on, that's good for a candle. Umbrella crusher I'm interested in. Ten-year-old newspaper. It is 15. You'll take it, Bosh. Done. Cool. Even more. So close to upgrading my expertise. I want to buy a Tamago. Can I see one? I don't have a Tamago. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. Bye. Sorry, I didn't buy the thing with the fake signature for three fucking bucks. How's it going? Are you a new owner of this place? Sort of, yes. I'd like to show you something, but it's not very valuable, but nice. Collecting umbrellas, right? I am collecting umbrellas. Mm -hmm. Well, that's perfect condition, but I don't have to tell him that. It's made from aluminium alloy, which actually lowers the price. Twenty seventy-eight. Uh, the rainy period. Who cares? There's no signature. Okay, I'm gonna say forty-five. Great deal. Oh, I've got an umbrella. Okay, it's one. It's not amazing, but it's something. Neon sign on the showcase. How much is it? It's only 101. Nice buy. You can take that. What's next? Breaking news. While the Association of Eastern is searching for the Burned Down Institute, friends who play willing to pay money to find their friends. Reward? Sang Zuan is a foreign businessman. Promised to pay 15,000. Oh. 8,000. 5,000. Dongdo, relatively small. Huh. Interesting. Announcing the day's end. Blah, blah, blah. Rain the singing. It's not fixed rain, just rain. Let's check it out. Right. So this is probably the best time to explain that this is the game. It's about appraisal. It's about haggling. It's about survival. It's really cool and dystopian and pretty fun. You know? And I'm not going to say no to it. I got a paper bag. There we go. Cool. Why don't you use the umbrella? No? Okay. Nothing interesting. Yeah, so, like, it's a bit of a dystopian game, and it's it's slow-paced, but I enjoy it so much, the idea of haggling and doing all that. It's really quite interesting, you know? And I enjoyed it as it goes, and that's that's what matters most. You know? And it's, it's something I definitely want to play more of. Maybe I'll play more on stream. Hopefully I will. But, uh, so much fun. Mm-hmm. People moaning. So back to my apartment and end the day there. Oh, there's Grandma. What's Grandma doing with the uh, homeless person? Huddling, maybe? Don't forget this word, karma. People running. Won't go out. What if the rain is fixed the rain? They wouldn't lie. It's understandable. Everyone's terrified of the rain. Just to think what they'd do if it was a shower. Let's see what the creepy dude does. Creepy dude. Uh, why'd you come back? Go home. Okay. No need to be rude. Let's go to the bottom. Hear that sound. Rain's everywhere. Cool. Let's turn in the day. We sold some stuff. Some new things. Got an umbrella, finally. At a decent price. I'm not going to bankrupt myself buying fucking umbrellas off people. You know? If they're not going to turn it in, that's on them. 
So, um, yeah, I think this is a perfect ending point. Day six. I was going to go through a full week, but yeah. Oh, hold on, here's a bit of story. The fire begins to spread everywhere. The smoke never gives up on befuddling me. How can I get through that? Suddenly I recall having almost lost my life saving grandma next door from flames. I managed to save her, but her cat didn't make it. The flames roared just as much back then. Interesting. Day six. Hey, the bandages came off. Nice. So, uh, yeah, basically. Oh, hold on. Bit more cutscene stuff. We're happy to announce this to you. While well, the cleaning of the research institute was burnt down, core technical files on the fixer rain. Files are being restored a week until fixer rain resumes. We promise to never let go of this value opportunity. Thank you. Oh no. So, here I am, bandageless, ready to move on with my life. But that is a perfect time to end it here. The game is a hell of a lot of fun. Hoverboard. Oh, I have a button for a hoverboard. Hmm, R for reputation. Look at all these. Th I didn't realize there were this many, um. There's a word there. Buttons. Um, yes. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, this is No Umbrellas Allowed. It's a fun, dystopian, haggle game. And if you're a stingy price bugger or a, a money slut like me, it's, it's a lot of fun. So, um, check it out basically. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Much love from me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.